Welcome back to Timbin Unboxing. Hello, and today we are unboxing the January edition of the Bam Box. You wouldn't know that, but we'll get the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they ran out over the holidays or something. Yeah. I don't know. But Bam Geek Box, it is a monthly subscription, and it is around $30 per month. Mm -hmm. So we've been getting these for a while now. Yeah. So. You really yeah. enjoy them. Yeah, I feel like it's been lacking a little bit lately. Yeah. Because the autographs are getting to the point where it's like a random person in yeah. a movie. A random person who was on set. Yeah. <laughs> so, considering that the price is mainly because the autographs, I feel like the autographs have been lasting a little bit, but they, yeah. they are very creative with their pins and prop replicas and stuff like that. All right. I agree. Well, let's see if BAM has rebounded this month. But before we get into that, make sure to leave a comment down below telling us your favorite item that we unboxed today. Let's see what's inside. Turn the box around for a little presentation and also hiding it from me. <laughs> First item. First item. Paper. Oh. <laughs> Second item. More paper. All right. Now the first item. Feels like the artist. Okay. Maggie it's Magneto. Magneto kind of ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I have funny. to be honest. I'm not exactly loving all the artist cards. It just. I feel like of... lately. Because yeah. when we first started getting them, I would say they're pretty good. Like, the first one we got was that cheetah. Mm -hmm. That cheetah's good. But, like... Same artist. Know. Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe it's just, just Trey like Baldwin. Not, yeah. to, not to just yeah. like, call them out <laughs> <Yeah>. like that. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not bad art. It's just not my favorite. Yeah, it's, it's not exactly my taste. Magneto. It reminds me of, like, Mad. The Mad magazine. TV. Yeah. Did you read those magazines at all? I didn't read them, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it kind of, kind of invokes that same kind of art style, which was kind of rough to look at, honestly. <laughs> all right, next item, though. Next item. I got to do this with a scratch off. Oh, we got Ooh. some Transformers. That's cool. That's Optimus Prime with just an incredibly cool axe for arm. <laughs> Yeah, <coughs> we have Optimus Prime here from Transformers. It's pretty cool. And we lost. Uh, it always happens. Yeah. All right. So, next item? Yep, next item. Feels kind of... Oh, not kind of Is this a book or something? Yoga posers. Tower super special when Colleen's collide. It's a comic book written by Kevin Smith. Is it the Kevin Smith? Because like, I believe like a, that's like a extremely common name. It could be. I like to think it's written by the Kevin, Kevin Smith. But like Kevin Smith <clears throat> is like Pretty John common. Smith, like like. Yeah, John Doe. Yeah, like. I don't know, let's see. But if it is written by the actual Kevin Smith that we're thinking of, then I'm sure it isn't, it isn't funny. <laughs> Dynamite. That is a Canadian flag, so I, I would think it is the Kevin Smith. I'm pretty sure he's Canadian. He's Canadian? Yeah, did he? Wasn't he in Degrassi? He, like, guest starred in Degrassi? So. Wait. I think I'm thinking of Kevin James. You're thinking of Kevin James? That's usually and Adam Paul Blart. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I don't know why I thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> then yeah, that does make sense. Kevin Smith is like, okay. He's not. He's not Canadian though. I like he's Canadian. But like the whole thing with him guest starring in Degrassi was that he didn't understand all the Canadian stuff because he's oh, American. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So I don't think he's Canadian. They have a big Canadian flag here. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he just loves Canada. Maybe. But I don't know what this is, what this is about. Me neither. It says films and stuff. Like, is this a show and they make, like, a comic of it? Maybe. Like how we had, like, the Die Hard thing. Mm-hmm. You know? But that was really good. 
So, I don't know what this is. So, it doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. I guess the the uh, cheat sheet will tell us a little more. <clears throat> but, yeah, I don't I don't quite get it. Yeah, so far, okay, Rox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my turn. Uh, my fault, my fault. Mm-hmm. My fault. All right. This is the uh, art print, I think. Mm-hmm. You ready to see what it is? Yep. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like this design a lot. Not that I'm like a big fan of Ghostbusters, but like mm-hmm. the design, this artist did a great job. It's very warm. Yeah, it's very nice. That's, that's really, really, really cool. And no variants so far. Yeah, all pretty common things. All right. The autograph. autograph. Mm-hmm. What's that say? I have no idea. Some semi nice quality of uh, photograph, though. Well, it's an old movie, so I wouldn't expect it to be too clear. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is from Hook. I don't know who who signed it. Don't need a cheat sheet for that. Yeah, I don't know who signed it, but this is from the movie Hook. Um, this is a movie me and my younger sister watched. A lot <laughs> as kids, so but I don't know who signed it. <laughs> but, I believe that was it. All right, that's it. Now we have cheat sheets. There you go. Cheat sheet. I guess they're doing giveaways is like the new thing because we just unboxed the anime box and they're talking about a giveaway. So mm-hmm. February geek box geek box giveaway. Itchy and scratchy comics number one. Um, it's a Simpsons comic. Winner announced on in March. All you gotta do is take a picture with your BAM, your favorite BAM item, and you're entered. It's a nine point six grade, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty good quality right there. Yeah. So first issue. But all right, cheat sheet. We show it to you guys if you want to pause it and read it. Mm-hmm. This is for January, so the new year is here, and we are celebrating five years of BAM, so we went all in with some of the highlights from our childhood, Ghostbusters, X-Men, Transformers, Hook, and Comics. These are the very things that made us proud to be geeks. We hope you enjoy this anniversary box, and thank you for helping us get this far. Mm -hmm. So the celebrity autograph. We know there's only one Peter Pan, but when we saw Hook in 1991, we couldn't help but think that Rufio might be the coolest successor to Pan the man there could be. His spoiler alert, Death, also was the first time we got teary-eyed in a movie. Thankfully, Dante Basco is still alive and well and still cool as ever. I'm, like, confused. (laughs) Yeah. Who's Rufio? Oh, he's the... He was the kid with the red mohawks. Or, that's not really a mohawk because it goes like that and that. Mm -hmm. That's who it is. Because you can see by this art print. Yeah. Or not art print. This uh, variant. So. That's kind of cool I guess. Then the collector's pen. Transformers still might be the greatest toy to ever have been created. An amazing original cartoon. Was just an awesome. Oh just as awesome. Optimus Prime versus Megatron. Is still one of the greatest rivalries of all time. So. We could have got, so let's see. Most of you will get Optimus, who is, who, that's who we got, right? Mm-hmm. While others will receive Megatron, which has 250 made. Or you can get Grimlock, which is 99 made. Or there's 50 of black and white Grimlock. So. Then the artist alley, professional artist Chris, has been bringing us straight fire. <laughs> straight fire art prints since the very first year of BAM. Oh, wow. And that's a long time he's been employed for them. Yeah. So, yeah, he did the the Ghostbusters art print, which is pretty cool. Um, I see why he's been around for so long. That's pretty good art. People enjoy the art. Then we have our prop slash item. As comic collectors, we are always excited to be able to send out collectible ones. This month, we are sending out limited comics from Dynamite, home of some of the hottest comic artists today. Possible grabs are from Battlestar Galactica. Red Sanja and others. These are out of print and highly collectible. Hmm. Look like there's like a James Bond one you can get. 
Yeah. I can't really see all the other ones, but... <laughs> It happens. Yeah. We just happened to get Kevin Smith, I guess. He, <laughs> I, I was just talking about Degrassi, so maybe it just kind of brought it over to us or something. <laughs> I don't know. Then we have the artist select card. This year, we're proud to bring you villains from all of our favorite franchises. We're starting off with a real banger. The villains of X-Men brought to you by professional artist Trey Baldwin. Most will receive Magneto. Or, or you could receive the variant Juggernaut. Hmm. So... That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah. I don't know. I'll probably give it like a seven. For seven? Reviews. I give it a six. Because it's fair. not my favorite. But at least I enjoyed or at least recognized more franchises. Because I feel like it's a big issue I have with Fam Geek. Um, is a lot of times I don't recognize stuff. Even though it's more of a personal problem, but mm-hmm. the comic idea is cool. Yeah, we just didn't get a comic that we would care for. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, the artist card we already run, went off on that. Uh, mm-hmm. The pen's cool. Autograph's cool, I guess. Art print's probably my favorite of the box. Yeah. It's what would nice. you say your favorite thing is? Probably the pen. The pen. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I would say a six. You said a seven? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty fair. Pretty, pretty, pretty average score for fan box. It's not too impressive. Mm-hmm. It's not too bad. So, <laughs> so those ratings are about it. Yeah. But all right, now that we have unboxed the January edition of Bam Geek, I have a gaming channel link in the description down below as always. Anytime I reach milestones, I'll do giveaways. So you might see one of these items in a giveaway. Gotta stay tuned for that. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave a comment down below to tell us your favorite item that we unboxed today. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.